Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to the Kalings Let's Plays channel, and welcome Woo! to Gotham in LEGO DC Super Villains. Yay! Which comes out October 16th. Special thanks to our friends over at Warner Brothers Interactive for giving us some cool B-roll footage on a lot of the free-roaming environments you'll experience in LEGO DC Super Villains. Yeah! Which yeah. is an adaption of the Forever Evil story. So where exciting. the bad guys have to take down a rival Justice League that are evil. <laughs> yeah. And so. save the day the villain way. Yeah, definitely. So So let's see how different the uh, Batcave is compared to Lego Batman 2 and 3. Essentially, this is Lego Batman 4. It's just called something else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because Batman has to help the, uh, the he did. villains. He I did guess. in Forever Evil. Okay, he so did. we'll see if he helps him in this uh, game. He might actually be gone along with the other heroes. So this is the Batcave. It looks a little bit different than we last saw it in Lego Batman 2. Two rex So there's some puzzles here I don't as well. remember the T-Rex being in Lego Batman 3. It was uh, one of the other tiers of the cave. Oh, I probably just didn't notice it there. It looks like they went back for a more simplified look at the Batcave since we last saw it. Because yep. remember, the Batcave in the third game was much bigger yes. than in the second one. Oh my gosh, it had so many different tiers to it and stuff. Of course, that had Batman in the name. Special edition, totally legit Wayne that was where the uh, Batmobile could come out. So instead of going through the waterfall, they have, you know, the gate of the uh, the Bat stuff. Oh, cool. I was hoping we get to see more of the Batcave, but I guess they are they don't want to show too much of it. So where are we going now? <laughs> Looks yeah, like... we probably don't want to see too much of that. We'll give away too much. But yeah, we've got the dark and moody Gotham. I love the rain, though. Yeah, I mean... it's raining in Gotham. I wonder if it's raining in Metropolis. No, it was all sunny <laughs> so and happy. It's, it's only raining in... Uh... Yeah, that's funny. So, what else? It's always sunny in Metropolis. I love the music for this. Wait, hey, is that Metropolis yeah, now? Me. Oh, I see, because Metropolis is up high. I, I get it. So they have, like, this very uh, heroic kind of, you know, Superman-inspired. So Gotham is down yeah. low, and then Metropolis is elevated. That, that's really clever. Yeah, Metropolis kind of looks like a cool futuristic world. Yeah, it does. To, yeah, I don't know. Where are we going? I'm kind of curious We're now. cruising around. Yeah, they're cruising. Oh yeah. my gosh, is this Smallville? It is! Oh my god! Wow! We're going back to Clark's hometown. Uh oh. I didn't do nothing you can prove! But the Mannheim family won't be paying for their gas in Smallville no more. Can wow. Be? We're fully insured. Alright, if I was them, I would switch to a character that had ice powers. Yeah, maybe some ice powers. Killer Frost! <sighs> Killer Frost is in this. Yeah, but she looks really different. costume creep over there. In exchange for what kind of big firefighter are you? Each pump has its own shutoff valve. You'll need to take care of them first. You have oh. to take care of the shutoff valve first? You have to take care of otherwise the fire will just keep oh, burning. Oh, that's so cute. Somebody's getting a car wash. Well, somebody Oops. just got run over. But well, I mean, they're you are evil. Killer Frost. Yeah. Well, I'm so, not Killer Frost, but Yeah. Well, this should be kind of fun to play as. I won't feel quite as bad. Um, when I'm running people over with cars and stuff in this, because I will guy. be a villain, it will be somewhat okay. <laughs> totally. Okay, so... What are yeah, they... and I, I love that they are able to make a Lego version, because that way, like, kids that probably wouldn't, like, read the comics of this story and stuff, they can actually, like, experience it through the Lego game. I did not like the Forever Evil storyline, because that's when... Uh, they tried to kill Nightwing for the umpteenth time. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, he kind of um, faked his own demise and became Secret Agent wrong. Grayson. Oh, right. I remember so, that. So, yeah. The new 52 was a, a huge hit and miss. It really was. Yeah. Although now what they're doing with DC Rebirth, it's kind of annoying. Uh, because DC Rebirth has kind of gone because they got rid of Wally West, which was the whole reason for DC Rebirth. He was the Rebirth. Oh, right. They just, they got rid of him in this stupid crossover thing called Heroes in Crisis, which I do not advise people reading. It's terrible. 
Especially yeah. if you're a Wally West fan. Like, of the real Wally West. I'm not talking about the pretender who's on the Teen Titans team. <laughs> like, Ginger Wally. Ginger Wally. <laughs> no lousy landlubbers are gonna stop sea Oh, landlubbers. That's the Sea King. He is, uh... Oh, I thought that was Aquaman no. for a second. Sea oh, King... Wait. He is a uh, doppelganger version of Aquaman so, from the Justice Syndicate or Injustice League, one yeah, or the other. I just have a, I just came up with a tremendous, interesting question for this, which I can't really have answered since I'm not at the uh, event right now. Oh, the event's way over. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, um, I was just wondering if we are able to play with the superheroes at all, or will. Probably just able to play with villains. No, the superheroes are in this game. Okay, they, but maybe you have to unlock them towards the end or something. They're available at the beginning, and then they disappear. Uh, and the oh. villains, you're in control of the villains the entire game. There's more villains in this than superheroes, though. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So, but your principal Justice League characters will be in this game. So, yeah, we'll get to see kind of some of the villains that you don't get to see a lot. That's definitely cool. But so, there's yeah. going to be a lot more DC characters in this than uh, Lego Batman 3. Uh, can you call me a cab? No, no, I don't think I can. What oh yeah, because we're villains. I was hoping for a cuddly polar bear. We're not really... But this will do. Oh, they brought back the awesome Killer uh, Frost voice. Oh, what's her name? Wow, she sounds cool. I think it's Jennifer Hale. Yeah, she definitely sounds really cool, and I, even though, like, she looks different than the CW, I kind of like that cute little bob haircut. I'm not, I'm not, uh, you know, it's not, you know, it's not my favorite, but it's kind of cute. <laughs> there are other costumes, though, so, I mean, you could play as their new look, um, you can play as their comic book look, and I think you can pay, play as their past Lego look, so, like, mm -hmm. Lego Batman 2 and 3. Yep. Well, I was surprised how much customization is going on with this villain because she can actually turn giant. I'm actually going to ask and, them uh, if they can send us some some B-roll of uh, the character customization feature because I'd really like to see it and do yeah, a video on it. Because I noticed she can do a lot more things than I've seen customized characters be able to do. Oh yeah, they've definitely expanded the power. So now we're going to see what Apocalypse looks like, which oh is going to play my. a big role in this game. Whoa, this is crazy. Traveling with a boom tube that feels very reminiscent to Lego Dimensions. Yeah, definitely. But the boom tube is actually, uh, it plays a big role in the new 52. So it makes sense. Cyborg yeah. is actually made out of Motherbox technology in the new 52, so he has the ability to use boom boxes. To or not boom boxes, sorry. Uh, wait, no, they are boom boxes, like uh, to transport all over the place. Yeah. Not not like music boom boxes. They're like you know boom box. Ne never mind. Yeah, not boom boxes. You carry on your shoulder and See, like. It's saying cyborg can use oh, that. Cyborg so can do it. They'll probably so... bring cyborg in. There he is. There's cyborg. So Why yeah. does he have, like, a mugshot thing, though? He's a superhero. I don't know, Luke. Maybe he became evil? No. No. This is the good cyborg. I think the other one is from the other Earth or something. Whoa. Oh, there's his transformation ability again. Well, I think it's just, like, it's just the way that the profile picture is. They probably all have mugshots. More of Mark Hamill. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool they uh, brought Mark Hamill back, and, like, he does sound pretty good. <laughs> yeah. He's the definitive Joker voice, so... He is! I will definitely give you that. He is the uh, most uh, legendary Joker actor of all time. I have noticed they have not shown Batman at all, but I think they're probably waiting to reveal that, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I believe they have released to, to some people oh, the, okay. the first episode of the game. Okay. I like uh, like they streamed it or something like that, and you got to see Kevin and Mark like interact. Yeah. In fact, you thwart like an Arkham Breakout, I believe it is, and then the yep. bad Justice League shows up, and the good Justice League is like, oh, who are you guys? They're like, oh, we're Justice League from another Earth, and we're we're here to help, uh, so you can go on vacation or something. They're, and they're, they're like, really? To, quote, help. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then they take over the Earth. 
That and just shows when people say they're gonna help you. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's good to like trust people. So but. it looks like Joker has a grappling gun, which is yeah, that's kind of cool. cool. They definitely made him the opposite of Batman in this. And we're seeing a laser puzzle of some sort. And that yes. will probably reveal a golden brick once we get all of these. So, yeah. I'm curious to see what more of Apocalypse looks like. But again, this is just like a, a little preview about what you guys can expect from LEGO DC Super Villains. And I'm very excited to play this game. I've loved all the different LEGO Batman games. Gotten to work with Warner Brothers in promoting a couple of them over the years. Yep. Uh, Lego Batman 2 and 3 especially. Yep. And we really liked playing, playing uh, Lego Dimensions. Too. Yep. Lego Dimensions was also sponsored by Warner Brothers. That was insane. We've done almost every Lego game except for um, Lego Harry Potter, I think. Speaking of that, uh, I believe we're going to be looking at the Switch version, but I have to check my email. Doomsday! Sort of. Yeah, that's Doomsday's first appearance. Wow. He gave us a gold brick. Yay! Thanks, Doomsday. I accept this on behalf of Batman villains everywhere. Yo, Harley! I did it! <laughs> Good job, Jay. And, uh, yeah, that... I believe is going to be the last of our uh, preview coverage. So I hope you guys Yay. have enjoyed the Lego DC Supervillains special preview brought to you by Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment. And I hope you guys will come back on the 16th of October where we will show you the full game doing Ooh. a Let's Play and free roaming videos and all kinds of fun I'm stuff. So Character excited. creations. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Till we meet again. God bless and happy gaming. See